Hi, I'm Carl, and I'm going to cover the updated question 16 and 17 of uh, section 3 of the Green Booklet. So this is a question about genetics, and we're told that there are um, two uh, sort of phenotypes we're going to be looking at here, controlled by one gene. And we're told that non-spotting or plain is dominant to the alternative, which is going to be spotting. Then we're told that there's another gene that controls the color of the coat. The heterozygous condition is yellow and the homozygous yellow mice do not survive to birth and the alternative color is black. So we'll call the dominant uh, one P and the recessive one S and then with color we know that heterozygous um, is going to be yellow so that tells us that yellow is going to be a dominant allele. So we can say yellow is going to be capital Y. Uh, we know that two capital Ys are not viable. And then the alternative is black. So the recessive is lowercase b. Okay, so question 16 says, of the following, the most likely proportion of phenotypes in offspring born from a cross between two yellow mice is what? Okay, so we know that if they're heterozygous, they're going to have to have this uh, genotype here because the alternative is that they're going to have a black coat or they're not viable. So that means we're going to be crossing two heterozygous mice here. So we can do our cross here and it'll look like this. When we look at our options, we get our first non-viable, then a yellow coat phenotype, another yellow coat, and then a black coat. So we're not going to count this in the ratio because it's not viable. And that means we get two yellow per one black. And that gives us a two to one ratio. And so the answer to question 16 is going to be C. If we look at 17, then it says two yellow coated spotted mice were crossed repeatedly. Of the following, the phenotypes of the offspring born would be likely to include what? Okay, because we're looking at two genes here, we're going to do sort of a, a double cross instead. So if we know they're spotted mice and we're told that spotting is going to be recessive, um, that means that all the offspring are going to be spotted as well. But I'll prove that to you if we do our other cross here. So let's think first of all about uh, what genotypes two yellow-coated spotted mice would have to have. So yellow-coated, we've been already spoken about how it has to be heterozygous like this and spotted it has to have this allele as well, this uh, spotted allele. So what if uh, we cross two yellow-coated spotted mice? So the two possible, um, now remember these are two different genes actually. So the two possible um, inherited genes are going to be capital Y or small b with S, and these are the two possible um, things we're going to cross here. And it's going to be the same for both. So we're told that these are crossed repeatedly, so let's have a look at the, the offspring that are produced here. So we got our non-viable one first of all, and then we get a yellow uh, with spotted coat. And we get another yellow with spotted coat, and we get a black with a spotted coat. So let's go through the options here. We're told of the following the phenotypes of the offspring born are most likely to include what? So 25% black spotted. So here we've got um, about a third. We've got this ratio that we had before. Um, so that's not going to be right. Um, but C says it's going to be a third black spotted. So that gives us our answer. So we're leading on from the answer from the last one. And of course it has to be spotted. So that means that the ratio is going to be, again, two yellow to one black. So that gives us sort of a 33 and a third percent chance that it's going to be black. And of course, it's going to be spotted too, it has to be. So that means that the answer for number 17 is going to be C. So that was the updated versions of 16 and 17. Thanks for watching.